All right there, everybody. Yeah, you probably saw my previous video about photo merge using Photoshop CS3. Well, Photoshop CS3 absolutely sucks compared to Photoshop CS4. I'm going to show you photo merge using CS4 and with a whole lot of other pictures. So here are all the pictures we'll be using. I've got up, down from the piano, up from the piano, over, over, up, up, blah, 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 blah. It's just a whole span of my living room with more photos, okay? 14 photos in total. And we're going to pop all of those into Photoshop CS4, okay? Photoshop CS4 has a, another new feature where you can make interactive panoramas, meaning a spherical panorama. So you you take your camera, you go around an entire circle, and you tell Photoshop to link all those together, and you can navigate in them um, as though uh, you were really there. It's really cool. So I'm going to use the auto feature. We're going to browse. Folder, being bubbles, choose. Pop all them in. Okay. And it, time has also uh, been chopped down. It's faster. Come on, there we go. Look at that. Now, you'll notice the hairline cracks here. I don't know why those show up. They showed up in CS3 too. Um, but in CS3, you'd also have brightness lines like I possibly showed you. To get rid of those, you simply make sure all your photos here are selected. Then you go layer uh, and merge visible and they go away. You just make it into one and they'll disappear. Now you'll notice that when you take your crop tool to go crop, you're not getting the full room. You're gonna chop off the fan, you're gonna chop off part of the chair. So would there be any way to reposition that? There is. Hit Command A to select all, then go to Edit, and Transform, there it is, and Warp. Now move the photo around a bit make it level again you'll notice it doesn't really look warped it's just been played with go ahead and hit enter now you've said okay now take your crop tool and do what we did before And yeah, you'll be cutting off some of the piano, but whatever. Er. <coughs> I'm sick, by the way. Ugh. That hurt everywhere. Okay. And uh, you'll notice how over on the upper right, I'm going over the boundary. I'm going to show you the feature of Photoshop there you probably already know about that will stop that. Then you can go edit, copy merged, command N, OK, command V. Ta da! But now look, oh no, up in the upper right hand corner you got slight bits of white. How do we get rid of that? Hold down Option and scroll, it'll help you zoom. Let go of the Option key and scroll up over there. Get your clone stamp tool. Clone stamp tool. Hit the S key. That's a shortcut to get to there. And hold on option. Click on the crack. Now let go. Align the crack. And start clicking. Look at that, Jimmy. I think we've solved the problem. I think we have to. I'm blurring it. I'm blurring it a bit. Now look for any mistakes it could have made, such as these cracks here in the wall. Um, you can also use uh, what's it called to fix those? The clone stamp tool. Um, what I just might do here is blur them. Blur it out. You're not really gonna notice it all that much, unless you're really looking. Then you won't notice it. Um, but I have edited that one previously, so I'm gonna quit this, quit this too, 
here's my final product and you can see I've fixed the cracks over here looks beautiful don't it it does that is the full span of my living room reaching from far to far thanks for watching have fun with photo merge and photoshop